right guys this is Kirsten and today I have a bullet journal video yes this is a April catch-up slash May setup video so let's get on into it because goodness knows I can talk about this thing forever and a day First things first, let's see the damage or what I added new and how last month's spread worked for me. So as you can see, the monthly layout, really nothing special, nothing great, served its purpose, which is basically let me know when things are coming up, but maybe further down the line I'll figure out a way to utilize it better. Next things here are the April goals and the April to-dos. So essentially, this was a great idea that didn't pan out. So I felt like I didn't look at this section after I set it up. I set it up and it was never to be heard from again. As you can see probably from the to do section which basically was a to don't section. Um, basically everything that I put here with the exception of one was not completed. So I feel like I need to incorporate it a little bit more and I did in my May setup and I'll show you how that was utilized as well as the goal section. So basically I did do some of the goal sections. I saved some money, I cleaned out my closet, things like that, but it wasn't that successful. It was just too out of the way. It was very forgettable for me. Sections that did really work out for me was this tracker. I'm really surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised with myself. I think the whole idea of not having to track every single day really took off the pressure of having this thing done. Just the five days out of the week, I was able to get a feel for what was really happening without being overwhelmed by having to track so much information. So that was really good. I kept this. I'm still going to keep this here. This is the YouTube video tracker. I think the problem with this was I was putting down only finished clips. So basically if I had a finished idea, that's what I would write it in the log as opposed to writing down every single tiny clip because I videotape a lot, especially for vlogs. I just videotape random things and then I totally forgot forget about it. So now I think it's just me using it a little bit more and hopefully just not just putting the pretty fancy videos that I know are going to be put up, if that makes any sense. So there is that. The to do today sections or the day on one page sections stood the same as did the weekly spread. So that basically stayed the same. The only other thing that I kind of wanted to mention really quick is this banner section. I basically spent an afternoon. I've been looking at bullet journaling videos for ages now and I have just envied how people decorate them and put different banners but I can't come up with them on my own and I just didn't want to take the time to look it up on my phone or look it up on my computer. It was just too much hassle. So I just figured why not copy a whole bunch into my actual bullet journal. So that's essentially what I did. I put some of my favorites. I copied some posts. If I could find um, the post that I copied these banners from I will link it down below but essentially that's all it is it's just redoing a bunch of banners so anytime I have to reference it I can just flip over to this tabbed page and there you go so it has some uh, quite a few date ones and then some blank banner ones and this has been you been used a lot I actually have really liked this so definitely definitely will keep this up in my future bullet journal. So an idea that came to me at the end of April was this kind of tracker. Quite a few YouTubers, I really can't recall their names, but they do like this daily um, well-being sort of update, a little graph. And they did a circle, like a radar chart, and I don't know how to deal with that. Like that's just too much for me. So I figured what's easier than a bar graph, a traditional good old fashioned graph. So that's essentially what I did. This was the first day that I implemented it. And then, so essentially it has six different aspects of my life that I kind of just want to keep track of and just rate it from a scale of zero to 10. So this was just the trial one. And then I thought, hmm, I don't think I'll do this every day. This is just a lot of work. I feel like drawing it out every single day would get tiresome. I know myself, I will definitely lose track of it. So let's just refine that a bit. And that's essentially what I did this following 
week. So, oh, I really didn't do anything on that Monday. <laughs> but instead of doing a daily tracker, I kept the areas of my life that I wanted to keep in order and I made a weekly bar graph. So I, at the end of the week, I just reflect on these areas of my life and just write down how I think they went. So that's essentially what I did. It's very nice, very handy, and it just gives me a visual of how my life is or how I feel my life is going at that time, which is always good to know. So yes, very, very helpful. Essentially, this was just worked in under my to-do. This is a perfectly wonderful spot. Kept the week at a glance sort of layout. I kind of minimized even further the amount of stamps. I know I was using more, I said I was using more in my last video, but again, I don't have them all the time. So let's just simplify it and put it in just regular handwriting and incorporate some more cool banners, see? So that's that. Some more here, I have this as a doodle section. Now we bring to May. Instead of drawing it out, I figured why not be, I'm not a hero, I'm not artsy, I don't have time, I don't have a graph notebook, so I just printed off a free month calendar and I glued it into my bullet journal and put some decorative washi tape. Boom. Simple, no fuss, no muss. So in addition to my regular like work notes and events, I bought these really cute wacky holiday stickers from an Etsy shop. Again, I will link it down below, but I put them in here. They're very cute. I love knowing these kinds of things. They're super, super cute. And it just, it's just a fun little thing and it takes up space and it's a nice little keepsake. So there you have it. And I also have the idea. This is a little hint or a little preview for you guys that are watching this, but I had the idea of doing a little compilation video, including these wacky holidays. So if you guys are interested, be sure to subscribe and see what I have in store. Hopefully it'll be as good as I think it will be. So there's that. And next, instead of having a made to do and a goal section, that's just too much space. I didn't need it. So I just put a made to do slash notes. So I have a few things here. Hopefully they will get done. I got one done. Uh, actually I got two done. So let's just mark this off. I'm an overachiever this month and yeah that's this here is the video tracker as I said before and I have been using it a lot more so definitely loving that now we're gonna go into the habit tracker what about the goals Kirsten uh, isn't it important to have goals yes yes it is but I need to put it in a way that I will see it more and by incorporating it into the habit tracker, hopefully I will. So I noticed that the things that I were tracking every day also correlated with the goals. So why not put it all in one area? Like that would make so much sense now, wouldn't it? So that's essentially what I did. I printed off some graph paper, numbered it again. This time I was feeling a little bit ballsy. <laughs> and I tra I'm going to track six days out of the seven. So Sunday, I think is my day off. Sunday or Saturday, I'm not really sure, but there you go. I numbered it, glued it horizontally. The big chunk is here. And then at the bottom, I just glued on some dollar spot post-its note or decoration. And I included my goals. Things like soda reduce, um, the amount of videos I'm posting, Etsy sales, and by whatever, whatever. So those are the goals down here. And hopefully I will add more of them as the time goes on. So there you go. So if you're interested in what I'm actually tracking this month, what I've Kept. Again, so exciting, I know, but this is what I have so far. Okay, something else that's fun and cool that I just I just wanted to do. So if you have subscribed to my channel, you have noticed that I have done quite a lot of clothing shopping recently. So I figured I need to start keeping track of my outfits to kind of give myself accountability of implementing more variety. For the longest time, I've really just not cared about my wardrobe and I just wore the same sad things. And it wasn't, it wasn't because anyone told me to change this. It just, I noticed when I dressed up, it made me feel better. So it really motivated me to, this will hopefully motivate me to use all these new wonderful pieces that I have purchased recently as well as keep track of it give myself like a good job 
maybe even post some lookbooks and it just is nice to see what I'm wearing is a little memorabilia type thing so there's that I've been doing pretty well I have three days then again it's barely starting so fingers crossed and then we loop around to this month layout again I have already drawn in the life tracker so to speak have my to do tracker so there's that i have some things pre washied out because i was visiting my sister and family but i raided her washi stash so there's that that is it i have a feeling that may is going to be my last month in here hopefully i will make it a very good month because look at this thing it is jam-packed i don't know how well you'll be able to see it let's tilt it yeah this is this is a monster. This thing is stuffed to the brim with washi and just everything. Like even with the elastic, it looks like a giant, giant monster. So, and the binding here is already kind of splitting. I don't, essentially, this little part here can talk now. It would, it was silent before. Now it's talking. So I think it's almost time to retire it. I really am enjoying. I already have the notebook that I'm going to be moving in after this one. So stick around for that. Hopefully you found this entertaining and useful. And if you are interested in seeing anything more from me, please comment, like, and subscribe. So see you guys later. Bye. Happy planning.